This is Fitness Blender's bar workout for butt and thighs. In this workout, we're going to be going through two rounds of a bar routine for a total of 21 minutes. All you're going to need for this routine is a bar, and if you don't have that, a chair or a tabletop will work just fine. Now, we haven't included a warm-up or a cool-down, so you'll want to include one of those of your own. Let's go ahead and get started with round number one. Our first exercise is going to be a front leg lift. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Start by squatting down slightly, picking that left leg up first, heel in slightly, pulling it up as high as you can, just a couple of inches, the very top of that range of motion. You want to try to get that knee to at least hip height, higher if you can. Then nice and slow, just pulse that leg back and forth. Make sure the rest of your body is nice and tensed, even though you're not really putting a lot of weight on that right hand for balance or that left hand, whichever one you're using, you want to make sure they're both nice and tensed. Let's go ahead and switch those legs to so bring that right leg up, the same exact thing on that opposite side. Remember the leg that you're standing on, you want that knee slightly bent down in about a quarter squat, maybe a little bit more shallow than that. Now just keep going through, checking all those other muscle groups, making sure everything's nice and tense, like those abdominal muscles, those obliques, and that lower back. We're almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go and move on to the next exercise. This is going to be a leg lift extension and pulse. So we're starting with the extension first on that left leg. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Tip straight over forward, try to get yourself nice and parallel to the ground. That thigh is going to come up parallel to the ground, and then you're going to pull that heel back towards that butt, get a nice tight squeeze, and then extend that leg back out to a full extension, keeping it parallel to the ground before you pull that heel right back in again. Now go through and check everything else on your form. You want to make sure that leg you're standing on has a slight bend in it. You don't want to lock that knee out. You want to keep all those muscles in that leg nice and contracted. You also want to keep all those core muscles nice and contracted, sucking that belly button in nice and tight, contracting those obliques and that lower back. Also, those arms need to be nice and rigid, even though you're only using them for a little tiny bit of effort, holding yourself steady. You want to make sure that bicep and tricep are both nice and contracted as well, burning some extra calories, getting everything nice and toned. We just have a few more repetitions left. Just keep that motion going nice and slow in a control. Remember to make sure that you're working against yourself in both directions. So you want that quadricep, the front of that thigh, and that hamstring, the back of that thigh, constantly working against each other. So you have to push that leg out as well as pull it back in. And just two more repetitions. We're almost done. It's your last one. You're going to extend that leg back out and freeze it and go into short pulses. The very top of that range of motion, just a couple of inches. Nice tight squeeze using that butt muscle, keeping that quadricep of that hamstring completely contracted, working against each other to keep that leg perfectly straight. Now we're almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go and switch sides. We're going to do the same exact motion on that opposite leg. Bring that right leg up. Try to get a nice straight line parallel to the ground from that knee all the way up to that shoulder. Tuck that heel into your butt, real nice tight squeeze, then extend that leg back out. Remember working against yourself, pulling that heel in, as well as pushing that leg right back out. Make sure that leg that you're standing on has a slight bend in it, and do a mental checklist of all those other muscle groups, making sure both those thighs are nice contracted, the front and the back of that thigh. Make sure your core is contracted, those abdominal muscles, those obliques in that lower back, as well as that upper body, that chest and that upper back, and those arms, even though they're not really doing a whole lot in this exercise, you always want to make sure everything's nice contracted to get the most tone and the most calorie burn out of this workout. And we're almost done, just five more repetitions. Remember, keep it nice and slow under control. Make sure all those muscles are nice and tensed, keeping everything through that core and upper body contracted as well. Just a few more repetitions. And your last one, full extension, freeze it and go into short pulses. The very top of that range of motion, nice tight squeeze to that butt muscle, keeping that thigh and that hamstring completely contracted. Remember, keep that leg that you're standing on slightly bent. We're almost done and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. This next one is gonna be the first and second position plie pulses with a little bit of a modification. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. We're gonna start with first position by bringing those heels nice and close together, coming up on those toes on the ball of that foot. Knees kicked out as wide to left and right as possible. Then nice and slow drop down and a short pulse as low as is comfortable. It's a nice quick pulse, just about a couple inches to four inches in depth. 
keeping those legs nice and contracted, and also that core and those upper body muscles, that chest, upper back, and arms. And go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna to switch to second position, so get those feet really nice and wide, about twice shoulder width apart. Bend those knees, you should have those knees directly above that ankle. You can either do the position we're doing here, or if you want to go to the full position, you're gonna rock up on top of that ball of that foot again. Same exact idea though, get down as low as you can, short pulses about two to four inches in depth. Make sure everything else is nice and contracted. Now we're almost done, and let it relax. All right, let's go and move on to that next exercise, the hamstring pull. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Start by grabbing onto the back of that chair or bench. Squat down just a little bit. Extend that left leg back behind you, about a 45 degree angle down towards the ground. Then keeping that thigh completely stationary, you're just gonna pull that heel up to your butt nice and tight, squeeze it in there and extend it back out. Again, you wanna make sure every single muscle in that body is completely tensed. You wanna make sure you're working against yourself, pushing that leg out as well as pulling it in. Contract those core muscles, that abdominal muscle, those obliques and that lower back those arms, that chest and that upper back as well, everything needs to be nice and contracted, making sure you're getting a nice tone out of this as well as burning those extra calories. And go ahead and do a mental checklist. Make sure you're checking all those muscle groups again, making sure all of them are contracted nice and tight. Your body's gonna be constantly trying to let them relax because it doesn't wanna have to burn the calories. But as long as you continue to force them to contract, you can get a lot more out of this. Now go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna switch sides, do the same thing on that opposite side. So standing on that left leg, bend those knees slightly, extending that right leg back out behind you. Remember down at the, towards the ground about a 45 degree angle, squeezing that heel in towards that butt really nice and tight and then extending that leg back out. Making sure you're working against yourself, you have to pull that heel in as well as push that leg back out. Again, go through and check all those other muscle groups, making sure everything's nice and contracted. We're getting close to being done, but make sure you run back through, do another mental checklist, contract all those muscle groups, make sure everything's nice and solid. You never wanna let yourself completely relax on this one. You wanna make sure those muscles are working harder than they actually have to. We're almost done, just a few more repetitions. Nice solid squeeze with that heel. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. We're gonna be doing a shallow squat with a leg cross. We're doing front and back, starting with that left leg first. Go ahead and get ready and start it up. Begin by swinging that left leg out to the side and then nice and slow, swing it back in front of you in front, squatting down slightly with that right leg, and then come back up from that squat, swing that leg back out to the left again, and then swing your leg behind you, squatting down again. Now every time you swing in front and behind, that counts as one repetition, so nice slow controlled motion, trying to get as low on that squat as is comfortable, and then nice and slow extending that leg back out as you come back up. So you're doing a single leg squat essentially, with a side leg raise. Now again, just like with all the other exercises, you wanna make sure those core muscles are nice and tight. You wanna make sure that upper body is contracted as well as those arms, making sure you're getting every little last ounce of energy into this as you can. We're almost done, just two more full repetitions. Get leg back behind you, one more repetition left. In front. One more back behind, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Same exact motion, but with that right leg this time. So bring that right leg up out to the side, up to the right side, swing it in front, in front of that left leg as you squat down with that left leg, back up again, and then bring that leg back down behind you this time. Just keep alternating back and forth, nice, slow, fluid, controlled motion, just making sure you're getting a nice, deep squat on that left leg each time.
And we are almost done, just two more full repetitions. Nice slow controlled motion, nice deep squat. One left. Bring that leg back behind you one more time. And let it relax. All right, very good, that is end of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you need a little bit of extra rest. Otherwise, we're gonna start right back into round number two here in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and get started with round number two, starting back over with the front leg lifts. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now go ahead and squat down to about a quarter squat. Bring that left leg up so that knee's just about hip height or higher if you can. And do that short pulse at the very top of that range of motion with that heel turned in slightly. Remember you want about a two to four inch range of motion on that pulse. Really nice tight squeeze at the top every single time. Make sure you keep that leg contracted. Make sure that leg you're standing on is nice and contracted. All those core muscles and that upper body. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Do the same thing on that right leg. Remember a little bit of a quarter squat on that left leg. That right knee up about the same height as that right hip. Nice short pulse, two to four inches in depth. And we are almost done, just a few more. And let it relax. All right, let's gonna move on to the next exercise. We're gonna be doing a leg lift extension plus a pulse. We're doing 20 repetitions on each side. Start with that left leg. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start up. You're gonna tip straight forward, get a nice straight line from your shoulder to your knee, trying to keep your body about parallel to the ground. Then pull that heel in nice and tight, get a nice tight squeeze, nice contract, and then extend that leg right back out. Remember you want to pull against yourself, so pull that heel in and then press that leg right back out, constantly working against yourself in both directions. Make sure that right knee is bent slightly. You want to have just a little bit of a bend in that knee. You don't want to be really, really low like a half squat or quarter squat. You want to just have a tiny bit of a bend. Remember to check those core muscles. Make sure they're nice and tight. Make sure that upper body is nice and contracted, that chest and that upper back, as well as those arms. And just keep concentrating on that motion. Nice tight squeeze every single time. Keep that motion nice and slow under control. Make sure you don't start kicking that leg. We're almost done, just a few more repetitions. Keep it going nice and slow. Remember we're switching to a pulse after this. Tight squeeze and just one more. Pull that leg in, extend it back out and freeze it. Go into that short pulse at the very top of that range of motion. Remember just about two to four inches, the very, very top of that range of motion. Nice quick pulse, making sure everything's really nice and solid. Contracting that thigh, keeping that leg perfectly straight as well as squeezing that glute muscle really, really tight every single time. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Do the same thing on that opposite leg. Starting off with that leg extension, pulling that heel in nice and tight, then extending that leg out. Remember working against yourself in both directions. You want to try to keep a nice straight line from your shoulder all the way down to that knee, parallel to the ground. Make sure it's a nice tight squeeze every single time. Make sure you have that leg you're standing on, that left leg, with a slight bend in that knee. You don't want to lock it out completely. Check those core muscles, make sure they're nice and tight. Check that chest and that upper back, make sure they're contracted slightly. Make sure those arms are contracted. Make sure you're working on that tone, burning as many calories as you can. And we're almost done, just a couple more repetitions. Make sure everything's nice and solid. Squeezing that heel in nice and tight, extending it back out, just one more, squeeze it in. Extend it out and freeze it, go into those pulses, very top of that range of motion, remember two to four inches in depth. Nice tight squeeze the top every single time. Remember, make sure that left leg stays bent, just a slight bend in that knee, that right leg's gonna be completely locked out, squeezing up as high as you can. And go ahead and let that relax. We're gonna switch off to the next exercise. First and second position, plie pulses. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. We're gonna start with the first position with those heels together nice and close, up on the ball of your foot, knees kicked out to the sides as wide as you can. Drop down to about a half squat, do short pulses, the very bottom of that range of motion, as low as is comfortable. 
Just a nice tight squeeze. Make sure all those muscles to those legs are completely contracted. Those calves, those thighs, the hamstring, inside, outside thigh, and as well as those abdominal muscles and upper body. Let's go ahead and move to that second position. Those feet really nice and wide, about twice shoulder width apart. Bend those knees, nice deep squat. Again, two to four inches in depth with that pulse. Making sure you're keeping that quick motion, but also always under control, never be out of control. Check those abdominal muscles, those core muscles, as well as that chest, that upper back, and those arms. Make sure everything is nice and contracted. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, let's go move on to the next exercise. We're doing a hamstring pull. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Drop down into a little bit of a squat with that right leg. Bring that left leg back behind you at about a 45 degree angle, pulling that heel in nice and tight, and then extending it back out, barely tapping the ground, and then pulling it right back up. Make sure you're pulling against yourself the entire time, so as that heel comes in, you want to be working against yourself, and as you press that leg back out, you're working against yourself as well. Check those abdominal muscles nice and tight, that upper back, that chest, those arms, everything should be nice and solid, making sure you're constantly working on that tone, trying to burn a few more calories. We're getting close to being done, but make sure you go back through, check all those muscle groups one more time, do a mental checklist, make sure that thigh is nice and tight, you're working against yourself in both directions, those core muscles are tight, that upper back, that chest, those arms, everything's contracted to make sure you're working on that tone. Just a few more repetitions. And let it relax. Let's go ahead and switch sides, same exact motion on the other side. Go and drop it down into a quarter squat on that left leg, that right leg's out back behind you. Curl that heel up to that butt nice and tight, and then extend that leg back out to about a 45 degree angle down towards the ground. Remember, go through and check every single one of those muscle groups. Make sure everything is tight, not just that leg. You want everything to that upper body contracted as well. Go back through that mental checklist one more time. We're getting close to being done. Everything needs to be nice and tense. Working against yourself as you pull that heel in and press that leg back out. Those core muscles need to be nice and tight. That upper body, those arms. Just make sure you're keeping everything tense to get as much tone out of it as possible, as well as burning as many calories as possible. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go and move on to the next exercise. We're doing a shallow squat with a leg cross. Starting off that left leg. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin, bring that left leg up and out to the side, then cross it in front of your body, squatting down with that right leg, come back up out to the side, then squat down again, bring that leg behind you this time, then right back up again, just alternating back and forth, nice slow fluid motion, getting a nice deep squat as low as is comfortable each time, as well as a nice high pull on that leg out to the side, trying to let those hips kick off to the side. Just keep it going, under control, nice smooth motion. And we're almost done, just two more repetitions. Back behind you, one more repetition, nice full range of motion. Back behind you one more time, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides, same exact motion on that opposite leg, standing on that left leg this time, bring that right leg out to the side, right leg comes in front as you squat, then back out to the side, and then behind you as you squat again. Just keep alternating back and forth, nice slow fluid motions, trying to get a nice deep squat as low as is comfortable, as well as trying to get a really nice high raise on that right leg without letting those hips kick out. 
Remember, just like with all the other exercises, go through and check all those other muscle groups, those core muscles, that upper body, and those arms, making sure all those muscles are at least contracted a little bit. And we're almost done, just two more repetitions. Make sure you go back through, contract everything. Make sure you're checking all those muscle groups. Everything's nice and solid. Have one more repetition. Back behind you one more time. And let it relax. All right, good job. This workout is complete. You just finished one of Fitness Blender's bar workouts.